Mike Sports Vibes. Thank you for vibing with me. Is it true, Kirk Cousins? Am I reading this correctly that you didn't sign with the Minnesota Vikings? No, I didn't want you to sign, re-sign with the Minnesota Vikings. I want us to go get our guy. But you didn't sign with the Minnesota Vikings because the Vikings kept it real with you. They kept the 1,000 with you and said, in other words, that they're going to draft your successor in the 2024 NFL draft. If that's true, a so-called top 10 quarterback in some people's eyes is scared of competition. The ultimate competition is the Super Bowl. That's the whole goal of the NFL. To get in the NFL and win a dang on Super Bowl. So if you're scared of a rookie quarterback that never played in the NFL, how the heck are we going to win a Super Bowl? Six seasons, we got one win in the playoffs. I got to keep it 1,000 with you. I got to keep it real with you. I can't respect that, man. I cannot respect that. And the Falcons said, we're going to draft our rookie quarterback as well. Being proactive is better than being reactive and getting your guy. And if your guy doesn't have that it factor and doesn't take that as, okay, you want to draft my successor? Guess what? He's going to sit on the bench until I am ready to retire. If you don't have the confidence in your ability, if you don't have the swag and just think that, yeah, I'm really that guy, then why do you expect the Vikings to think you're that guy? Why would you expect the Falcons to think you're that guy? I just feel like we pretty much wasted a lot of time. And yes, you put up a lot of great numbers. But at the end of the day, the ultimate goal, especially for a Minnesota Viking fan that hasn't won a Super Bowl in the history of the franchise, we're trying to get to the dang old Super Bowl and win. We've been to the Super Bowl four times and lost. We haven't been to an NFC Championship game for a minute now few years now i don't want to talk about it brings back some memories i don't want to talk about it, it got beat down i don't want to talk about it but still i am just disappointed in the fact that kirk cousins you were that scared of a rookie quarterback you were that scared of competition it's a dang on shame man and the falcons yes People think they made a mistake giving him the $180 million, which I do think that's a mistake. The money situation is a mistake. $100 million guaranteed, more than half of the money in his contract is guaranteed. You know what I mean? But the fact that they went and got their guy, Michael Penix Jr., which I think is going to be a baller in the NFL once he gets the opportunity, you better not let him get an opportunity and shine in the preseason. You better stay healthy, Kirk Cousins, because I'm telling you right now, Michael Penix Jr. is going to be that dude. I'm just, I'm, I'm keeping it real. As a Minnesota Viking fan, I'm JJ to JJ all day. But I like Michael Penix as well. And I think he's super talented and he can make every throw. And you better watch out, Kirk Cousins. Because if you're scared of the quarterback that we got, you're going to be scared of the quarterback they got as well. Now, even though I think our guy is that guy, he got that it factor 27 and 1 when it counts. You know what I mean? Championship, you know the vibes with that. But man, it sucks, man, that. We had this quarterback all this time thinking he was going to be the missing piece. Missing piece? That's all I got to say about this video. That's all I got to say, man. And it's a, it's an unfortunate, the unfortunate truth, man. The guy is scared. <laughs> it, it sucks. I will be going live doing play-by-play -play for most of the Viking games this upcoming season. So hit the subscribe button and the like button. It's definitely going down. I'm out.